The CMPD will try a new approach to an old problem. The department has been trying to find more officers to help with soaring homicide rates, civil unrest, and everything down to protecting your neighborhood. It's been a challenge, though, to recruit and keep police officers in Charlotte. Channel 9's Allison Lottis has been following this effort for years. And Allison, you learned the city is turning to a company in Canada for help. They are, Scott. I told you years ago that the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department was offering more money, faster promotions to recruit officers, but tonight 188 positions are still vacant. Now the city is paying behavioral scientists to help them figure out how to get more police on our streets. Charlotte is a growing city struggling with a police shortage. Roughly 10% of the positions are open. For years, the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department has been competing across the Carolinas and the country to recruit applicants and persuade current police to move here. But they don't feel supported. So that person that wanted to come in into policing kind of thinks twice if this is really something they want to get into. Now, the city is turning to behavioral science for a solution, hiring B-Works out of Canada to research how to get and keep candidates. There's more than just finances. We're not just computers that calculate, you know, the best, the most amount of money that I can get for this amount of effort. We have our experiences and we have different things that motivate us. Shelby Sutherland um, is so part of the research team to. digging into how applicants and department officials perceive the job, the interview process and how the current social climate affects the career. We know as behavioral scientists that people have biases. Um, we have limited willpower and we have limited mental power and energy. We are uh, affected by experiences. The end goal to implement a plan that will fill all 188 open spots with officers who represent the community. And the price tag for this research is almost $250,000. B-Works will present their findings later on this summer. All right, thank you, Allison. Now, CMPD recently enlisted another company to train officers in a customer approach, uh, customer service type approach. The idea is to treat people in communities less like a victim or suspect, more like a customer. The Fraternal Order of Police has pushed back against this, saying there should be more focus on officer morale. CMPD said the approach will benefit the community and officers. And we just learned that the city manager is proposing a 3.7% budget increase for CMPD. That would bring their total budget to just over $300 million. The city is also launching a $1.2 million program that trains civilians to respond in a mental health call.